Hello everyone, George Packard with Family Lawn and Landscape. And today I'm going to talk a little bit about workman's comp. So I had a fellow YouTuber ask me the question about how we handle workman's compensation things. Uh, he told the story about a guy that he had working for him that uh, basically got hurt when he wasn't at work. And then he turned around and said that he got hurt at work. So basically that's where the question came up and he wants me to, to answer on how we handle stuff like that. So here's what I'll tell you. The, the purpose is to protect the workers. That's workman's compensation to help protect the workers and, and take care of them. If they get injured on the job, you know, it helps give them a paycheck while they're, they're off, you know. But um, anyway, we have to we have to do it. We have to have workman's comp on everybody. It is expensive to do. So I understand everybody's concern with guys that, you know, claim that you know, like this guy, he got hurt off the job. Then he calls up the boss the next day and says, hey, I got hurt on the job, which was complete crap. OK, so but this happens all the time and it happens everywhere. So you're not alone with that. But all right. So here's my my answer to this. Document everything. Every time somebody calls and says they bruise themselves or they got a paper cut, we document it. Find any witnesses. Was there anybody around when this happened? And if there was, get a statement from them because they can turn a paper cut into a, a six month vacation. So some of these guys just do that for a living. So anyway, um, it's a shame, but it happens. So you document everything, find any witnesses, and be proactive in your company. So what I mean by be proactive is have like these weekly safety meetings. Just pick a topic. Just talk about trimmer safety one week. Could be edger safety the next week, mower safety, and so on and so forth. Um, even driving the truck, safety about driving the truck and not, not speed and things of that nature. So you're always trying to cover your ass as far as that goes. So if these guys do take you to court and they're trying to find money from you, um, you can say, look, we've had all these safety meetings. These employees know about this stuff. Here's my verification. Never go by. We have all these meetings and they should know by now because that employee is just going to say, I didn't have any meetings about that. If you have documentation, you can prove that, yes, we had meetings. OK, so um, and write people up for safety violations. That's a big deal. If you catch them without their safety glasses, I had this happen to me. I caught a guy without his safety glasses, chewed his ass, wrote him up. The very next day, he got something in his eye. The very next day, and he was off week off work for like a week. So what a joke that is. And, and to sit there and collect my workman's comp while they're off, you know, but whatever. You know, if he'd had his safety glasses on, this wouldn't have happened, you know, but whatever. So anyway, write them up. At the end of the day, it's going to be your word against theirs. That's just the way it is. But the more documentation you have, the better chance you have of fighting. it. So that being said, this is George Packard with Family Lawn and Landscape. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit the notification button down below the little bell there so you'll get a notification of any new videos that we have coming out. And as always, I appreciate you leaving me your comments down below and I try to answer them all. Thanks for watching.